This is the Bobo Clouds watch face with a fairly minimal theme. I only have the date, the step count, and we will come back to this mysterious magic wand in just a bit. This is how my watch face looks when I have no active notifications. When a Facebook message comes in, its icon shows up on my watch face. Optionally, it can even stay in ambient mode. As you can see, a burning safe outline icon is automatically created. Later, when I get an email, its icon also shows up on the face. The bubbles dynamically rearranged to make space for the new status icon. When a second email comes in, an optional counter appears. I can also tap on a notification bubble to see the full text of the message. It's not much this time, but I can dismiss it right from here. Its bubble disappears from my watch face. Tapping on an icon with a badge first shows a list of the notifications. I tap on one to expand it. This time we have a longer message inside. Swipe to go back to the watch face. We don't have to open a notification to dismiss it. Swipe to dismiss works in the list. We can set a limit on how many notification bubbles are added to our watch face. This time there were more than could fit, so the last bubble shows plus 8 in excess. An analog watch face has limited space, but we can quickly switch to a digital layout using the magic wand. I long press the magic wand to have its icon show the battery level live info instead. From now on, we will need to tap on the battery percent to switch between analog and digital. By the way, long pressing a notification icon takes us to its settings. Beyond the standard bubble settings, we can also change the bubble number limit here. And you can see it went up from 3 to 4. And this way, there are only plus 7 which couldn't fit. Press this plus 7 overflow bubble to see a list of all the notifications on the phone. We could swipe to dismiss these one by one or use the dismiss all icon at the bottom. You'll have to press and hold to avoid accidental presses. But wait, why didn't all the notifications get dismissed? These are persistent ongoing notifications. They cannot be dismissed, but you can tap the block symbol to blacklist its app. You can also swipe to block persistent notifications. We took care of all the notifications on the watch. The other bubbles grew to fill their space. My phone still shows those blacklisted notifications. There's the tasker one, the touchless notifications, notification, and a new Hangouts message that came in in the meantime. In the Bubble Cloud app, the last section deals with the notification bubble settings. You can access the notification filter or blacklist from here. When I swipe to remove touchless notifications from the blacklist, its icon appears on the watch. I can also block or allow notifications by their content. Whitelisting the word tasker will counteract the blacklisting of its app and the tasker icon shows up again. Finally, let's blacklist the word day, which will remove the hangouts icon since its message contains this word. At the end of this video, let me rewind a bit and show you how easy it is to install this notifications plugin. As you can see, I now have a regular bubble cloud watch face on my watch. Let's get the plugin from the Play Store using the button in the main app. After the installation completes, you will be taken back to the Bubble Cloud app automatically. It will prompt you to install the watch component. On older watches, this is the responsibility of the Android Wear system. When the watch component is installed, please open it on the watch. There we go. You can see all the settings are now available on the phone. But before seeing the notifications on the watch, we need to enable notification access in the operating system. The app prompts you to do this. Click on the fix button, then press the enable button. Finally, find status bubbles in the list of apps and enable its switch. The status icons show up on the watch right away. 
The plugin also includes the minimalist theme I showed you in the beginning of this video. You can apply it from the one-click theme section. Of course, you can modify the theme in any way you choose. I will override the theme's gray icon colors with the blue accent color. While Google keeps taking away from the Android experience, my motto is to create apps which put you in control. So there we try to change the color and it will tell us that that color is coming from the theme, but we can fix it, override it. We simply apply and you can see the new blue icon colors on the watch. As the last step, disabling this option will give you a clean watch face when you have no active notifications. Thank you for all your support. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you found this video useful. And if you enjoy the app, please don't forget to rate it in the Play Store. My apps appeal to people who like to be in control of their smartwatch experience. We are in minority and those who get confused easily are always quick to drop a bad rating. You can balance out all the negativity. Please spare five seconds to leave a five-star rating. Thank you so much.